Hey guys! Thanks for tuning into Legend X Studio. My name is John Steffen, and this is day five of Making It Work Mega Metachem, where we climb the VGC 2015 ladder on Showdown while providing live commentary. So we have two more days left, day five and day six, and then we're gonna move on to the new team. So far, I really like this team, and we're just gonna jump right into a battle. Uh, so our first opponent of the day has a team of Altaria, Gardevoir, Superior, Latios, Latias, and Thunderous. So, three dragons, one fairy, one grass, and Thunderous. So they actually have a potential of like four possible Megas in this team. I think Altaria or Gardevoir may be the most likely. Uh, I have to be careful with Superior because it's a pretty dangerous Pokemon to go against because of Leaf Storm and its ability contrary, which will double its special attack if it gets Leaf Storm off. I think a really good Pokemon here would just be Togekiss and Pama Snow as a lead. So I could do Follow Me, Turn 1, and then just start spamming Blizzard to get a lot of damage off because almost the entire team is weak to fair, weak to Ice. The only thing that isn't weak to Ice is Gardevoir. So I think Togekiss, Obama Snow would be good. As well as having uh, Rotom Heat in the back to switch into like Dazzling Gleam. And then the last Pokemon. So I'd, I'd either want Bisharp or Metacham. Which would be better? So Garchomp doesn't do too well against in this match because uh, Superior and Latias and Latios both have speed and then Thunders is also a pretty big threat to it. Metacham can't really touch Latias or Latios, it'll do okay against the others. They're kind of the biggest threat right here. I think I need to bring Bisharp just as a counter. So I'm going to send out Togekiss, Bomb of Snow. They sent out Latios and Latias, which I am fine with. So right here, let's see, I don't, they can do Thunderbolt, but I don't think they're going to be able to do too much damage to uh, my, too much damage to my Togekiss. So right here, I'm just going to do Follow Me and Lizard to just get off a lot of damage. And we're going to see what happens. They also have the option of carrying Flamethrower, I believe. Okay, they did Dragon Pulse, which is awesome. They attacked a fairy, which is also kind of sad to see. So I guess they went after my Obama Snow because it was the most threatening Pokemon, and they couldn't take it out. That or one of them did Draco Meteor, my Toki Kiss. Either way, okay, so they're just going to forfeit this match, uh, which is kind of sad to see, but it did give me a d big advantage when they double attack my Togekiss with a Dragon Move, so we're just going to jump into an air battle. Uh, I guess we're going to do three battles today, since that one lasted like a minute. Okay, so my opponent here has a little more of an intimidating team. They have Kangaskhan, Amoongus, Landorus, Thunderous, Talonflame, and Milotic. So, Bomb Snow again, really big threatening Pokemon against my opponent's team. Uh, but... Kangaskhan does add, an is add some issue in here. So does Landorus. Question is, do I want to bring it? I actually think... Hmm. I could leave with Togekiss, Obama Snow. And turn one, go for a... Uh, Tailwind... Blizzard. Okay, I'm. See, do I want to do that? It seems kind of like a risky play because the Pokemon can hit me pretty hard. Hmm. Or could I? I, le I could leave with Rotom Heat. Rotom Heat is actually pretty good here. It deals with Amoongus up pretty good. Thunders and Town Flame. And I think it can survive a skull from my Lotic and then hit it back and kill it if it gets hit first with uh, because of weakness policy. 
Also threatening to Landorus. Question is, do I want to bring it? <laughs> so I think the best thing to do is actually lead with Rotom Heat and uh, let's see, Garchomp Earth Earthquake won't be too good here. Maybe Bisharp would be good. with Bisharp. Or maybe I could leave with Metacham. Yeah, Metacham. I'll put... Actually, I'm kind of questioning having that Metacham. Because if they leave Talonflame, that's an issue. Don't have very good switches to that. And they may actually leave with Landers. I kind of want to... Okay, I'm gonna go with Metacham, Garchomp, and Bisharp. Okay, so they send out Landorus, Thunderous. So, actually, leading with Bisharp here or Obama Snow and Tokus would have been a pretty good move because they would have had a lot of pressure going off there. Sadly, sadly, I didn't do that. Oh well. So. This turn, that Landers will probably like Rock Slide and Thunders may do Thunder Wave on my Metacham to slow down. I'm just gonna Hidden Fire Ice that Landers take it out because it's really threatening for me right now, and I'm just gonna switch into Garchomp. So if they do do Thunder Wave, it's not gonna do too much to me. They actually taunt my Run Me, which I'm fine with. They do U Tune or Garchomp. Ah. Uh. I really wish they rock slided. I want to get that weakness policy. No. Weakness. Yeah, weakness policy off. I have not once had weakness policy activate with my Rotom Heat. Which I thought it would activate more because usually a lot of Pokemon will hit Rotom Heat super effective with water or rock moves. Okay, they send out Talonflame. I'm fine with that. I get him Power Ice off. It doesn't do too much. I'm totally fine with that. So right here. My Rotom Heat is in a pretty good position, so I kind of want to just keep him by icing with Rotom Heat into like Landorus or Talonflame because I feel like they're just going to switch into, I mean, into Thunderous or Talonflame because I feel like they're going to switch into Landorus. Yeah, I think I'm going to just do a hidden power ice on Thunderous and then I don't know how fast Thunderous is. If I go for a Rock Slide, I may be in a good position here. If they switch, if I get hit by, hit by Hidden Power Ice, I'm not in too good of a situation here. Hmm. Tough decisions. Or I could switch into Bisharp. And then Intimidate would go off if they switch into Landorus. I kind of feel like I just need a rock slide here. So you can take out that town plan. So, they go for a Brave Bird, taking recoil damage, not doing too much. Hinvara, I, they get Hinvara Ice off. Oh, it's a Life Orb, oh boy. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna take, almost taking out my Thunders. I mean, almost taking out their Thunders. I guess I should have protected there. Okay, so, can't do Protect anymore. Um, Thunders took a Pretty good amount of damage from that in power ice. Right here, I think I'm just gonna go for uh, yeah another hidden power ice on Jeju and then knock off onto Town Flame because they may switch into liners, which I will get. The well, they may switch into something else. I doubt they'll switch in landers. They go for a Brave Bird, which I'm fine with. Okay, Empire Ice goes off. Don't I don't get a boost. But I take out their Talon Flame, which is good for me. Okay, so one of the threats is down for my Metacham. They sent out Kangaskhan. So
could fake out and then gang up on me for... Yeah, I'm just gonna do a double protect to scout what they're gonna do. I, I wanna see what they're gonna do. I'm not really sure what kind of like motive they have here. It's to protect King's Gone. I think they still think my Rotom Heat has like... Has... Um... I still think they... I think they think my Rotom Heat has... Will-O-Wisp. So right here, kind of... I wonder if he's gonna have taunt. So I'm gonna go for Hidden Power Ice on Jeju, and then also a knockoff. So Thunderbolt takes out my fish sharp. I should have just sucker punched. Uh, okay, not the best place here, <laughs> but you know, you gotta learn from your mistakes and just get better. Okay, so right here, that Kangaskhan is probably gonna protect, so I'm just gonna protect. They may switch into Landers. They do switch into Landers. Yeah, I'm gonna assume they're gonna switch into Landers. And I'm gonna go for a Zen Headbutt on the Thunders. Just to take it out. That Thunders is becoming a really big issue for my team. So if I would have just brought my Obama, so I think I would have been in better position here just spamming I Blizzard. Okay, they get Thunderbolt off, doing a large amount of damage, and I get paralyzed. Okay, well. That's a loss. Didn't play it too well. I could have played it better. Um, kind of making safer plays instead of risky ones. Like when I decided to do a Thunderbolt knockoff onto that Thunders. It would have been better if I just protected Thunders and then gone for like another attack. So next turn, I would have sent out Metacham and kind of put pressure on them. Anyways, so my opponent here has a team of Gyarados, Rhyperior, Togekiss, Volcarona, Sylveon, and Landris. So, right here, uh, Rotom Heat may have an issue. I think Guard. Mm, so, the Omega they have on their team is Gyarados. Right, Perrier is a good support for it because of Lightning Rod. We have Togekiss for Tailwind, Volcarona for Follow Me. Hmm. So, this is a bit tricky. I think the best, one of the best things for me to lead here is probably like Bisharp, Garchomp. So the only thing to counter my Bisharp is their Volcarona. So if I lead with Garchomp, I can at least rock slide it. And then if they lead with any Intimidators, uh, my Bisharp will get the boost. And Volcarona has really bad defense. So if I just like take it out right away, it would be really good for me. I'm also going to put... I'm a little iffy on having a Bomb of Snow out unless he has some kind of support. I want Metacham in there. Get off a lot of physical damage. And then... I think Togekiss will be really important if they have Gyarados come out. So I'm just going to have Bisharp Garchomp. They sign out Sylveon and Rhyperior. So Bisharp is in a pretty good position right here. Can I outspeed that Sylveon? I should know that. So my Bisharp has 91 speed. Hmm. So I'm just going to go for an Iron Head on that Sylveon and protect, because I don't want to lose Garchomp yet, and I want to kind of threaten them. Okay, they send out Volcarona, I get Iron Head off, doing a good amount of damage. They do Ice Punch, I survive! Okay, so... Uh, do I want to sacrifice Garchomp here and go for the Rock Slide? I could go for Iron Head, Rock Slide which probably is a good move here. I want to make sure that Rhyperior can go down while... Actually, I could rock Earthquake Rock Slide. No, 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 I could... Can Earthquake take out Volcarona? I 
Sadly, I think that may be the best play right here. Earthquake. I'm earthquaking my own bisharp. Okay, almost takes out Rhyperior. I get Iron Head off. Down goes Rhyperior. Guard chop around for another turn. Ugh. Well, you know, good thing about Focus Sash. You can earthquake your own bisharp. I guess that's becoming a new play with me. Okay, so my opponent has Sylveon in the back. Uh, they may have an Intimidator. Oh, they just sent out Sylveon. So right here, I'm in a pretty good position. I'm just going to Iron Head that Sylveon. Well, actually, they may have, like, Quick Attack or something. I'm going to go for Protect and Rock Slide. So hopefully I hit. Okay, I got Sylveon. Take out Volcarona. Okay. So I got rid of one Pokemon. They flinch! That's so convenient for me. Okay, Bishop gets the attack boost. Garchomp loses the attack. Okay. So. I kind of want to just sucker punch Sylveon. So I think Gyarados will probably Dragon Dance Mega Evolve. If I sucker punch Sylveon. So, like, Sucker Punch, Rock Slide. I'm pretty sure I can take it out. Uh, I don't think it has, like, Quick Attack or anything. So, Sucker Punch almost takes it out. Rock Slide, guaranteed the takeout on that. Garchomp loses most of its HP. I'm in a pretty good position here. They get Dragon Dance set up. I am fine with that. Okay, so now, all I have to do is Sucker Punch. And... Do I want a Dragon Claw or Rock Slide? I'm just gonna go for a Dragon Claw on Gyarados. So Mega Evolves. Okay, Sucker Punch goes off. It doesn't do too much damage. Garchomp survives with 2%. And Dragon Claw, down for the kill. All right, cool. So uh, today we had uh, two wins, one loss. Kind of played kind of funny in that game. Oh well, gotta learn from that. Um, doing pretty good so far, having a lot of fun with this team. I really like it. I'm I'm actually not ranked too high on on showdown because I outside of this I kinda mess around with it, so I do lose quite a bit of points messing around with it. Um but yeah overall the team's doing pretty good. We have one day left now. So maybe we can somehow reach thirteen hundred through a miracle. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh please leave a like if you like the video dislike if you didn't like it i'm fine with criticism and leave a comment below i'd love to talk to you guys about what you thought about the video and anything else you guys want to say all right see you guys tomorrow for day six